middleweight world title fight. This to be contested in a five five round with a one a minute break. It is a win by KO. Submission. Referee stoppage. Judges decision. This bout is sponsored by Sprawl Fight Shorts. Available exclusively from ML Sports. Introducing the Warriors to you. Firstly fighting out the red corner from Holland. He weighs in at 83.5 kilos. Representing first ball center de Groot. He brings to the Octagon a record of 17 wins, two losses and two draws. Dutch Pankers champion, trained by the president of Shuto Holland, Jeroen de Groot, defeated Lars Bad Boy Besson by stunning TKO in round one at Ultimate Combat 10. I give you Nathan Satan Shuttaroff. Every warrior deserves respect in the house tonight. And his opponent, prepared to do battle in the octagon for this world title bout. Fighting out that blue from Redditch, he weighs in at 83.5 kilos. Representing WPT Gym and Fitness Unlimited. He brings a record of seven wins. by Keela, the most promising middleweight fighter in the UK. I give you Ross Ross <laughs> If you're ready for the bout, let me hear your boo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for this awesome world title defense and challenge. Your referee is Howard Hughes, get ready for blistering action within the Octagon. I'm going to make this quick because it could be over quick. So, both guys, solid stand up. We've seen Nathan, we've seen Ross before as well. Where do you think it lies, Wes? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with Ross just because of um, I I've known Ross really well because we were in Thailand together. Ross is we're off. Slow to start, everybody, both fighters testing each other out there. Yeah. Judging range. They got a title belt of state, that was a good left hand. Good left hand by Mason. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ross, I think, really does sum up the words mixed martial arts, Marshall. Great set up, great on the ground, great all round. It's good around. He likes using that tie clinch, which I know is Shotun's obviously been looking at, looking at Ross in detail. Very quick to pull out of that head clinch. Yeah, he's um he, he's very good at pulling out of the head clinch. He, he stand up and fight you very square. He, he's not sort of a, a low down fighter. He don't he don't get in for your legs and stuff. He fight you very square. It goes to the ground. He grapple with you. Well, you have to say, I mean, Ross definitely is the person who looks in better shape. Yeah, Ross looks in fantastic shape. I mean, um, I I've seen Ross train, and Ross does train with one hundred percent every single time. Yeah, some of that tie work there. I mean, he was telling me earlier, you know, he's he, he was, how do I put it, he was confident but not overconfident. You know, he was he was literally saying, I'm going to win this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out here to do it. Well, yeah, I mean, Ross is super confident, but then again, I, I mean, he's not fighting somebody who, who's, who's an idiot. He's good. Do you know what I mean? The opponent's good. It's a good, good, well matched fight, and it is going to be tough. We might actually see the first one go past around. Well, I mean, don't speak too soon. Good exchange of blows from both players there, and now we're down. Great takedown, superb. Yeah, Shotun closed, closed in, looked for the guillotine. Ross capitalised on the loss of balance, took him straight down. Yeah, that's what I mean. Ross loves fighting from here as well. If he can keep that, uh, the, the one leg out and just give him the one leg and, and, and possibly skip guard, he's going to do well. 
Now, I've never seen Shoten on the ground. I really, really can't say anything. Well, I mean, Shoten, again, like, like anger. I mean, if he, he sit there, he'll use his strength, he'll use his time and his determination, and he'll wear you down. And what we... <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, Ross is... Ross just looking to patience. He's landing some good, good left-hand shots in there. Yeah, he's doing well. He's, he's got a good base now. He's going to sit back from there, and I think he's going to strike now. And he's... Has he got a show to... Sorry, I was going to say, has he got him stacked up against the fence from there? Yeah, I think Shilton's backed up into, into a very difficult position. If Ross can capitalise on this and just keep... See, I wouldn't be panking on pulling any moves. I'd sit there and grind in pain from that position. I mean, before coming to Ultimate Combat, Shoten was actually regarded as a ground specialist. Well, I think that's actually been put into the test now. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, <laughs> Ross has given him no room to try anything. I mean, Ross is keeping busy, you know, he's keeping the pressure on, keeping the, that pressure on, not letting show to him perhaps sort of break time, so to speak, you know, sort of sit, sit there and go, right, okay, this is my situation, this is what I've got to do. We, I mean, that... that that's superb, I mean, Ross is doing well there because he's just doing enough to keep the points adding up and he's wearing Nathan down dramatically. I mean, wh why try and do something energetic if it's not needed? Yeah. Well, got to watch out for the triangle to come on. Um, Ross wants it back up. He loves it. Nice. But the noise, oh, the noise is deafening in here. Ross skipped that really well. He was unlucky to in the in the way that he landed, but he skipped that really well. I mean, no disrespect to Ross. We know we know he's a good we know he's a good stand-up artist. But just with Shotun's background, I thought Ross might have been better just to keep it on the floor. And that was a slip. That was a slip. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I have just noticed there that Ross does need to either keep his guard up or keep his chin down because he was getting tagged, although by little soft jabs, but. But one of those is going to turn into a big right hook shortly. That's right. But I mean, surely, I mean, I know Ross probably doesn't want to go at that. F oh, this fight doesn't go that far. But uh, I mean, the position he was in oh, earlier, no, he was in Shotun's guard, but he was getting solid strikes in there. Surely that would favour him on the judges' scorecards. Yeah, that's right. I mean, little and often, little and often. <laughs> Blinding first round, I've got to say. I mean, looking at the two fighters just now, you know, you got angles on both of them here. And I'll be honest, Mason does look the fresher out of the two. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd say uh, that, that Ross is just, Ross has sat down, Ross is just taking it easy. I wouldn't say Ross looks tired at all. Ross is probably the fittest person I know here tonight. Um, as I said, I've seen, it, I've seen him training searing heat, and he just keeps going and going, just get, digs it out of nowhere. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. First round to Mason. First round to Mason, definitely. And he doesn't have to do anything different when he comes back out. I think the question being after it probably gets past the third, third round. Me, my own personal point of view, I would have to say Ross after the th third round because of the pure conditioning. For definite, you know, if you see what I mean. Yeah, definitely. I mean, fatigue's going to start to show on Nathan a lot quicker than it will on Ross. Oh! Oh, left. solid left by Good Ross. Left solid left by Mason. That was a slip by Mason there again, see? That was a solid left. Saw it clear as day. That's another thing about Ross, a very ambidextrous puncher. <laughs> Now, that's, that's the advantage because the other fight, you never know what you're going to get. You know, you don't know which angles punch is going to come in from. That's right. I mean, he does seem to favour his left leg with his kicking, but um, his punching is superb from all angles on both hands. 
That was far behind his own player at certain. But Nevers know his knees bleeding at this point. So it's an exchange of knees from the two strikers. Now, tell me something here. I can see the right hands of both fighters are sort of clasped together. What, what's that all about, Wes? Well, see, what they're doing is they've got an equal distance there and neither can gain on each other, can't turn in for any throws of any kind, can't get any closer than each other and lets each other with those hands. Yeah. So that's an absolute brilliant stalemate to be in. I see, I see. Mace... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Mace has got one underhook in. I'm just, I'm just wondering, I mean, is Ross literally, again, again, like we were saying earlier, you know, sort of biding his time from here, you know, perhaps looking to push back and go striking again? Well, hopefully, I'll be right in saying Ross is, um, Ross is taking his time and not trying to be too fancy. He doesn't need to impress anybody. He needs to sit there, plod away, and just score the points. If the knockout comes, take it. Ross has got to be careful here. That he needs him. to get his hands up. Get those hands up. Mason has to be careful, he, he's dropping those hands on his way in, he's going to end up getting caught at this rate. He is, I mean, if you're going to drop your hands, keep that chin well and truly down. Ross has both underhooks here. That, that's definitely the place to be, I mean, Nathan's going to, going to pound the back of the head, possibly the ribs to wear him down, but if you're going to be anywhere, you're going to be looking to do the takedown from the underhooks. Yeah. But... Excuse me, no, ignore me. I was going to say something there. <laughs> totally <laughs> fair. Well, you can see Ross using his right hand. He's using his right hand, or was using his right hand to stop Nathan's left knee coming up like it does there. Keeps coming up like that. Ross now looking for the takedown. This is good, this is good clinch work by Shotun. Really good work. Yeah, Ross needs to get those hands straight back up. He's throwing punches and his hands aren't coming up quick enough. I mean, I'm going to take a big risk and say I don't think much is going to happen in this round. But for the next one, Ross definitely needs to come up, come out and keep those hands well and truly up or the chin down. I think from Ross's point of view as well, in, ter in terms of his hands, you know, he's, he's looking for those one punches. Seems to be looking for those one punches a lot of the time now. Oh, I think, to be honest with you, I think he slipped it. and walked onto something. Mason can recover from this. That'll be brilliant. Yeah, he won't give up. Ross is sitting there, and if he needs to curl into a ball and just hold onto a leg, that's exactly what Ross will do. But as we were saying earlier, he's got to be careful of doing something like that in case it's classed as uh, not intelligently defending yourself, in which case he'll get stopped. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think, hopefully, luckily, time may be on his side. We are coming towards the end of this round now. If Ross can hold on, he can compose himself, come out the next round. Hopefully his corner will say something like some of the things we have been saying about keeping his hands up, using more combinations. Yeah, see the way he tucks his head into every little gap and crevice there. He needs to get out of this position. He needs to keep working, he needs to keep moving. Yeah. Keep those elbows locked this, well and truly this together. This is dangerous, this is dangerous. He's going to get stopped. He's done He's well, really, the really the well there. He's just giving the back. It's good work. He did really well to turn then. But he's going back to his original position again. He's going back to that original position again. He needs to keep moving. And that's it. That's it. No more. That is such a shame. We were actually into the last minute of that round as well. Yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, it's not somewhere I, I think I, I would have stopped the fight too, but um, he was giving up a lot of headshots. I mean, Mason's obviously going to be disappointed with this, but uh, again, you know, as I've, as I've said with other fighters who I've seen on, on this show, he'll come back a better fighter from it. Of course he'll come back. I mean, I know Ross, it, his art's right down now, but then by the time he's back in those changing rooms, he recovers straight away and he'll be back bigger, better. Uh, a great, I mean, great job, especially, I mean, you know, first round we were given to Ross, 
We honestly thought, you know, he had a strong chance of taking this and Shojun just started taking over. Well, whoever, whoever made a mistake on that fight was going to lose the fight and I think Ross just gave a tiny little mistake, gave his back, was something that he found hard to recover from, did really, really well and the ref stopped it because he saw the punishment. Shojun capitalised, so simple as that.